Welcome to IoT Projects Ideas. In this project, we will show you how to create a Raspberry Pi Pico based plant monitoring system that can measure soil moisture level and display different emotions based on soil moisture level. The system consists of Raspberry Pi Pico board, a capacitive soil moisture sensor, a 0.96 inch I2C OLED display, some jumper wires and a breadboard. The first step is to connect the capacitive soil moisture sensor to the Raspberry Pi Pico. Connect the VCC pin to 3.3 volt, the ground pin to the GND and the analog output pin to the GP26 pin on the Raspberry Pi Pico. The OLED display has 4 pins, VCC, GND, SCL and SDA. Connect the VCC pin to 3.3 volt on the Raspberry Pi Pico, the GND pin to the ground pin and SDA pin to GP4 and similarly SCL pin to GP5. I have assembled the circuit on a breadboard but to make the connection permanent, you will need a PCB. So to make your work easier, I have designed a custom PCB for this project. You can directly order your PCB from PCBWay.com. PCBWay.com is a leading manufacturer of high quality PCBs and offer a wide range of services including PCB fabrication, assembly and component sourcing. If you are using PCBWay for your first order, then there is a special discount. So don't forget to check the link provided in the description. You can quickly order your PCB through this quick order PCB and just upload the Gerber file. Choose your desired settings and place your order. To display different expression based on soil moisture levels, you will need to write a code that requires a libraries Adafruit GFX and Adafruit SST1306. The code seems complex but it's actually quite simple. You will need to create a function for each frame of the animation for each emotional expression. For example, if the soil moisture levels are low, you can display a sad expression and if the soil moisture levels are high, you can display a happy expression. The code will read the soil moisture levels and convert that to the percentage and display the corresponding emotional expression on a OLED display. To upload the code, you need to install the Raspberry Pi Pico board manager in a Arduino IDE. For that, in Arduino IDE, go to the file menu and then select the preferences option. In the preferences window, scroll down to the additional board manager URL section. In this section, paste the following URL. Go to tools menu, go to board and then board manager. In the board manager, search for Raspberry Pi Pico. You need to see package name Raspberry Pi Pico slash RP2040. Click on the install button next to the Raspberry Pi Pico package to start the installation process. Wait for the installation process to complete. After the installation is complete, go to the tools menu, select board and then select Raspberry Pi Pico. Also select the correct COM port for Raspberry Pi Pico board. Now press and hold the boot cell button while plugging the Pico to your computer. Then hit the upload button and the sketch will be uploaded. After uploading the code, the OLED display will start showing different emotions for the soil moisture value displayed in percentage. Calibrating the soil moisture sensor. For accurate readings, 
it's important to calibrate the swell master sensor so to calibrate the sensor open the serial monitor then note down the readings when the sensor is in dry state then again insert it into a container filled with water and then note down the readings now compare two readings and adjust the code accordingly in this way you will be able to get the accurate soil moisture reading that reflects the actual soil moisture levels of your plants to check the soil moisture value simply dip the probe in the soil moisture sensor into the water soil or any other liquid the oled display will show five different emotional expression of a plant based on the percentage of soil moisture present with this guide you now know how to create a raspberry pi pico plant monitoring system that can measure soil moisture levels and display different emotions based on moisture levels this system can help you to keep close eye on your plant's health and make sure they receive the right amount of water they need to grow and thrive that's all for today's video part see you soon on the next one Happy planting. Bye bye.